Welcome to another Splatoon 2 video on the channel. So before the Octo expansion came out, I covered some of the Easter eggs that could be spotted in the screenshots and all of the Octo expansion material we got before the DLC did come out. But now that the DLC is out, what I want to do in this video is cover all of the rest of the Easter eggs that I haven't covered yet on the channel. So in this video, I will not be covering the fact that you can see the Game Boy Color in levels and GameCube as well just because I have already covered that on the channel before and also there is a Nintendo logo on the Deep Sea Metro train as well so I will not be covering those Easter eggs again just because I have already covered them on the channel before the DLC did come out so what I want to do in this video is cover the more hidden easter eggs first and then cover the more obvious easter eggs that i'm sure most of you guys have discovered i will cover those obvious easter eggs at the end of this video the first set of easter eggs comes in from tumblr user sixth rock and they have discovered 80s and 90s child toys within the levels of the Octo Expansion. I will leave a link to their Tumblr post in the description for you to check out. But they have discovered Polly Pocket, a wind-up fishing game, Clackers, Metal Link Puzzles, Trash Can Slime, Game & Watch Donkey Kong Jr, a Spirograph and an 80s rock and roll flower toy floating in the levels of the Octo Expansion. There will be even more 80s and 90s references in terms of films and music later on in this video. To carry on the 80s and 90s theme, a Zelda SNES game card can be seen in some of the levels of the Octo Expansion. I guess that would fall into the more obvious Easter eggs that I have covered so far in this video. And to go alongside that Zelda SNES Easter egg, at the central station across the tracks, you can see a poster advertising the SNES console. Agent Freeze CQ80 device and CQ card can be seen in Incopolis Square next to the subway entrance that is a cool easter egg now if you grab all 100 power eggs in one go you will get rewarded with 100 more power eggs and some bonus congratulations from captain cuttlefish now i'm going to try and show off this easter egg as best as i can but unfortunately it might be quite hard for you to hear this easter egg just because of course I'm talking over it and unfortunately due to copyright reasons I have to turn down Splatoon audio so it will be quite hard to hear this but unfortunately you're just going to have to take my word for it in terms of this easter egg actually existing. So Miria Alteran has discovered that the ebb and flow demo that Marina posted on the chat log in the Octo Expansion is the victory sort of music when you do complete a level in the Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 single players. The ebb and flow demo music in the chat room is also the opening of both 8-legged advance and Octo 8-step. Octo 8-step is the music used in the first stage in the first and second game. The songs I Am Octavio and Octo Armaments are constructed around the five notes in the ebb and flow demo. The scrapper also uses the same tune found in the ebb and flow demo when it does break down. This definitely makes sense seeing as the Salmonists get their technology from the Octarians. Now the ink tank Agent 8 wears in the Octo Expansion is based on a real life backpack. When you hold ZL and tilt the right analog stick you can flick the mem cakes. Captain Cuttlefish's phone has a wallpaper of the Squid Sisters as kids. That is a really cool easter egg and yeah those last two easter eggs they are definitely some of the most obvious easter eggs found in the Octo Expansion. An image of the Cheap Cheap from the Mario series can be found in the Octo Expansion. One of the levels has a golden CQ combo but I'm not sure what that means. 
maybe you guys know in the comment section below. Now, in the Octo expansion credits on Nogami screen, Nogami is doing the same Octolink pose that he did in a direct that did reveal the Octo expansion back in March. Fly Octo Fly, which is of course the final boss battle music, has the level complete music and the music where you do collect the fangs. Fly Octo Fly contains those two songs. One of the passengers on the deep sea metro has a newspaper which does have stories about Off The Hook and CQ Cumber. I wonder what those stories are about. Let's return to the 80s and 90s theme that I did talk about early on in the video. Now some of the stations in Octo Expansion are references to 80s and 90s film and music. So to end the video, I will be going through some of the references. Muckfly Station, do it with some style, is a reference to Back to the Future. Jump Station might as well is a reference to the song Jump by Van Halen. Popalicious Station, the fun don't stop, is a reference to Pringles. Popstar Station, don't stop till you're popping off, is of course a reference to the Michael Jackson song, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Target Buster Station, Who You Gonna Call, is of course a reference to Ghostbusters. Bounce With Me Station, Nice Airboard, is a reference to Airboard. Iceman Station, Jet Into The Danger Zone, is of course a reference to Top Gun. Hypercolor Station, Ink On, Ink Off, is a reference to The Karate Kid. Great Buster Station, Ain't Afraid Of No Craze, is another reference to Ghostbusters. Move It Move It Station, You Like To, is a reference to the song I Like To Move It by Real To Real, featuring the Mad Stuntman. Labyrinth Station, Splat Magic Splat, is a reference to the Labyrinth. Girl Power Station, Inca Zigar, is a reference to the Spice Girls song, Wannabe. Busterlicious Station, Did I Do That, is a reference to Steve Urkel's catchphrase from the sitcom, Family Matters. Ink It Station, Ink It Real Good, is a reference to the song, Push It by rap duo Salt and Pepper. Shoot em Up Station is a reference to the film Happy Gilmore. No Whammy Station Don't Stress Your Luck is a reference to the old game show Press Your Luck. Spin Doctor Station Just Go Ahead Now is a reference to the song Two Princes by the Spin Doctors. Notorious Station Blowing Up Like It's All Good is another reference to Notorious B.I.G. Of course, Pearl dresses up like Notorious B.I.G. in the final boss battle. Captain Cuttlefish at some point raps, check, 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 check it out. And that is a reference to the Beastie Boys. I probably have got that completely wrong. Probably have pronounced that wrong, so I must apologise about that. Fake Plastic Station looks like the real thing. Is a reference to the Radiohead song, Fake Plastic Trees. There is a station called Who Let The Pods Out, and that is, of course, a reference to the song Who Let The Dogs Out, which I do believe came out either late 90s or early 2000s. I can definitely remember growing up and hearing that song on the radio that was definitely popular around about that time all eyes station can't see me is another reference to tupac of course marina is dressed up like tupac in the final boss battle getting dizzy with it is of course a reference to the will smith song getting jiggy with it pop rock station as 50 yellow balloons go by is a reference to the song 99 red balloons the Station Stamp Collaborate and Glisten is a reference to the Vanilla Ice song, Ice Ice Baby. Goose Station, Listen to its Howling Roar is a reference to the Kenny Loggins song, Danger Zone, which is in Top Gun. Cubular Station, What's the Dealio is a reference to the 1998 song from Total. What the dealio? The station What's Up Doc is of course a reference to Bugs Bunny from Looney Tunes. IV bags can be found in Otto Expansion. Could this be in relation to the sanitization process that Captain Tartar 
puts through all of his subjects. Also in one of the levels you can see the auto bomb floating around. This is the Shinkai 6500 submarine which is actually a real life submarine. This is in collaboration with the Japanese marine scientist sort of company J-A-M-S-T-E-C. The CQ-80 device's design is also based on a submarine. It is based on the Shinkai 2000. And finally, let's just end the video on the most obvious Easter egg that I haven't covered so far on the channel. And that is on the Deep Sea Metro, you can hear Kalimari Incantation play amongst the tune that does play on the deep sea metro and this does happen when you do collect a few fangs so that is it for this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed it i definitely have enjoyed making this video nintendo definitely did go the extra mile in terms of putting in those extra little details i really do like that about nintendo's games they go the extra mile they go in and put those extra details that don't really matter that much in terms of the plot for the games but it just adds that little bit of extra care and I really do appreciate that Nintendo go that extra mile with their games so I really did enjoy making this video and finding all of the easter eggs that a lot of people in the community have found in Octo Expansion. So like what I said at the start, some of those Easter eggs were the more obvious Easter eggs that I'm sure you guys discovered when the Octo Expansion came out about a month ago. But maybe there are some Easter eggs in there that you guys didn't discover and hopefully you guys found that aspect of this video interesting. So yeah, that is it for this video. There will be some more Octo Expansion videos coming out soon. There will be a video talking about some of the hidden lore details in Octo Expansion as well. Definitely I'm looking forward to making that video. But that is it for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. And hopefully I will see you in the next video that I do make.